Imagine you and your family want to go someplace, but you need to take a bus to get there. Do you know how to buy tickets in English? Hi, Alicia here. Buying tickets in English is easy. In this lesson, you'll learn how. Gustavo's family has just arrived in America, and Gustavo and George have met them at the airport. Let's watch. Five tickets to Times Square, please. Okay, will that be five adults? Uh, how young do you have to be to get discounted tickets? Children under 10 years old are eligible for child tickets. Children 10 years or older need adult tickets. Got it. Sophia, you're eight years old, right? Right. And Lucas is over 10, so four adults and one child. Okay, four adults and one child to Times Square. Your total is $73.95. George, I'll pay. Don't worry about it. I got it. Everybody, welcome to the United States. Now the lesson focus. Here's how to buy tickets. Ready? Do you remember what George said to purchase tickets to Times Square? Five tickets to Times Square, please. First is the phrase... Five tickets. Next is a phrase that includes a place. To Times Square. Last is the word. Please. Together, it's. Five tickets to Times Square, please. The structure is. Number. Plus. Tickets to. Plus. Please. Now you try. Imagine you want two tickets to Atlantic City. What would you say to the ticket clerk? Two tickets to Atlantic City, please. Now imagine you want four tickets to Grand Central Station. What would you say to the ticket clerk? Four tickets to Grand Central Station, please. Do you remember how George told how many adults and children would need tickets? Four adults and one child. First is the phrase... Four adults. Next is the word... And... And last is the phrase... One child. Together, it's... Four adults and one child. Keep in mind that the age range for children's tickets varies widely, so you might have to ask the ticket clerk to be sure. Now you try. Imagine you are buying tickets for yourself, two adult friends, and an infant. What would you say to the ticket clerk? Three adults and one child. Now imagine you are chaperoning a group of six elementary school students on a trip to the zoo. What would you say to the ticket clerk? One adult and six children. Do you remember how George told Gustavo that he was going to pay for the tickets? I got it. This is a phrase that is used to tell someone else that you will pay the total bill, including their portion. Now you try. You are on a date and you want to pay for the meal. What do you say when the check comes? I got it. Now imagine you are sharing a cab with a friend and you want to offer to pay for the ride. What would you say? I got it. Liked this quick lesson? Watch the full version at EnglishClass101.com to understand the whole dialogue. While you're there, learn all about American culture with our audio lessons and cultural word lists. Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. See you next time.